Hello, welcome to the first episode of the Powerade Podcast. I'm your host, Marco, and this is my co-host, Gael. What's up? So today we're going to be talking about how this podcast came to be, and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness in the warm section, and in the cold section, the bathroom mentioned how this podcast came to be. So yeah. Alright, so, you may be asking, why the Powerade Podcast? Well, the answer is because I'm rating Powerades. Well, not me, but us. We're rating Powerades. Yes. We'll be rating them both warm and cold to prove some taste better than others in different temperatures. How, like, I would say an example, I like my lemon lime Powerade more warm. Piss. Okay, you know what, whatever. <laughs> and at the same time, once we finish drinking our Powerades both warm and cold, we'll, we'll rate them on a, on a tier list from S to D, D being the worst, <coughs> S being God's here. Also... We will be showing our faces in future episodes of the podcast, but but as of right now, we will be... Yeah, yeah, we're poor. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we're just showing Xbox. We're going to play... Oh, I'm going to play some zombies, right, to show you how good I am. I suck at zombies, so I can't play zombies. Exactly. And also, we will be having guests, not this episode, because this is our first episode, mm-hmm. but so on. We have more guests, and we'll be talking about different things. You may be asking, there are only... Um, not that many flavors of Powerade, and that's true, but the podcast will keep going on, too. We'll be trying different things, but as of right now, the main focus of the podcast is Powerade. I just thought of something. Well, what if like, we get so popular to the point where like, Powerade sponsors us, but not only sponsors us, but they make us have our own flavor. If that ever happens, remember the first episode, and Coca-Cola, please sponsor us. Yes, please. But only Coca-Cola Cherry, because it's better. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so afterwards, after we try said um, Powerades, if y'all are, like, ever curious, you all can also, like, try par- the Powerade and tell us in the comment section, whether that be Instagram or, like, Twitter, and tell us what you th- um, thunk about said po- um, Powerades. So, yes. And remember, and if you do that, you have to try them both warm and cold. Yes. Alright. Alright, then. Well, okay. that being said... It's taste time. It's taste time. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, no, no, wait, no. You need to do the cheers up close, so, like... There there you go. Go. Oh, that was a good oh, one. That was really nice. Okay, so, hold on, two. Wait. <laughs> oh, fuck, it didn't make a sound. Okay. All right, well, we are starting off in the cold section, and today's episode is about fruit punch. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> it's fine. This is good. This is good. Mm. All right, let me start the gameplay while, mm. you know, <laughs> Okay. you get into it. So, to start off, how did we come up with this? So, it was <coughs> prom night, right? There were some successes, some misses. And what? I talk with my hands, okay? okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, y'all can't see this, but like... Soon, you'll see it soon. soon. Soon you'll like see my fucking hand. I'm basically like waving fucking Doctor Strange hand size and shit. <laughs> okay, so... Prom night was cool. The music was mid for the most part. Like, most of the stuff they played was like... Gumbias. Gumbias are cool. Especially where like, we're from. Most of y'all know where we're from, because like... Obviously, our first audience is going to be you you guys. By you guys, I mean Del Rio. Anyways, <clears throat> um, there, was some, there was some mid-music, but we're not going to talk about that. Though for me, I my prom was pretty good because I'm in a relationship, so you know you know how it is. Anyways, um, after prom, <laughs> me, Marco, and all our friends decided to hang out at, at and out of nowhere. Like me, me, Marco, and all the rest of our friends, right? And out of nowhere... Marco got inspired by this one meme. I'll show you all the meme, but you can't see it right now. So y'all guys will have to follow our Instagram page and Twitter and our Twitter at Powerade Podcast. Yes, and our meme page that one that died. <laughs> we don't even fucking post on that anymore. Yeah, but that anyways, one doesn't matter. but basically the meme was this monkey being like fed water fountain some like blue Powerade, and from that point on, Marco kept egging on how he was gonna make a fucking. Pa- um, podcast talking about his piss Powerade. Hey, hey, hey. One, it's not piss Powerade, so you could shut the fuck no, up. No, no, it's piss. No, it's, it's not. Just, it's, it, it's, 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 it's a lemon it's, lime exactly. one. Exactly. It's yellow. And it's the best one. it's warm. No, it's not. Hey, no, no drink tastes good warm. That's a lie. And that's why we are making this podcast to prove, or for me <clears> to prove to everyone, that some drinks are just better warm. All right. So, how it actually started uh, as a m- bit more... Is that we were there controlling a friend after prom, right? Because as Gael said, there were some misses. Mm-hmm. And while that was happening, me and another friend, we were looking at memes. And that's when I saw, you know, the monkey drinking Powerade. This ape only wanted Powerade. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 
but it was actually another inspiring thing. And I did tell them I would do it right. And so for once, I actually wanted to go through with something I said. So mm-hmm. that's where this brought us to. Exactly. And then actually, there is still more to the story, which brings us to what me and Gael were talking about two nights ago. Oh, it was a lot we talked about. It was a lot we talked about. Yeah. Remember how we were like planning to start this? That's Definitely. what I mean. Yeah, and then Marco had been wanting to like do a podcast for like a good while. We just didn't know he didn't know what he didn't know like what he was gonna do it on. <clears throat> but if he for sure always wanted to do one. I myself um, was just down for the idea. He um, proposed the idea to me um, first, like as a, as a solo podcast, because he was just thinking of doing it himself and having me as a guest. But as we kept talking about it, we we're like, you know what? Might as well just make it a co-host thing, because me and him have pretty good chemistry, yada yada, and I feel like it'd flow more. And better if it was with both of us. Exactly, because even though right now I said I'm part of uh, like the main host, I cannot speak by myself. It is the problem, and I feel like I could speak to God about almost anything. And you know what? We we, we make some pretty funny jokes. So you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna toot my own horn. We are pretty funny people. Yes, super hilarious. Super hilarious. Oh no. fuck. fuck! You died. <laughs> no, no, you I didn't. Die. No, of course I didn't. Not bad. All right, but yes. So we wanted to start it right, and we were talking about like our other things we wanted to do, but y'all guys will see that, you know, hopefully as the podcast <coughs> progresses and we progress to what we want to do in the end game. Mm-hmm. And as of right now, what I'm telling you is that I do like this red Powerade, mm. the Fruit Punch, but I, I think the flavor's a little whack. Why has it whack? I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I'm a lemon-lime biased person. Isn't lemon-lime like... No, this is lemonade flavor, right? No, it's lemon There's lime. There's no lemonade, lemonade flavor? There is, but it's not here. I thought the lemonade one was the piss one. No. Fuck. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's Powerade. And what do you think of the Powerade? Are you drinking I it? think it's good. On, I feel like I'm going to like it more cold. Okay, but uh, what I'm hearing is that you want to try Gatorade? What the hell's Gatorade? Gatorade? Oh, you're right. It doesn't exist, right? Exactly, no. Oh, uh, fuck. What wait, am I wait, saying? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Um... Shit, I don't know what the hell Gatorade is. Yeah, what the what the hell's Gatorade? We only love Powerade yeah. here. No, actually, Powerade is the only like nutritious. No, Powerade is the only AIDS drink. Exactly, it aids you in many things. Yes. Oh, here's a good distinction as well. Powerade is R A D E. Powerade podcast is A I D E. You know why? Cause copyright. That's why. Yeah, that's Just in exactly. case. Yeah. Just in case. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Just in case that happens, just in case we die. Guys, look. From I'm, copyright. I'm not bad at zombies. I'm just, I'm just being mid. Sure. How many, how many kills did you get? 14, one down. Actually, that's not bad. By that point, wait, what round is it? Three. God damn it. That's okay. really bad. I don't know. I feel like whenever I drink this power rate, it has like an aftertaste. I don't know how to explain it. Like a lingering. It's like the. No. It's like when you drink this power rate, it's like the taste doesn't just stay in your tongue. It like. Spreads all over your cheeks. Exactly. Not, not the... No. <laughs> <laughs> it spreads all over your cheek cheeks, right? And it just stays there. But that's all parades, though. No? Yeah, it is. But I feel like this one's more stronger than others. You know what I mean? I guess so. What's that? Okay, but... You know what else I also think about this part? If it, it, It's hit so strong. Like... Sometimes it tastes diet, you know what I mean? Like, have you ever tasted a diet Coke? Oh, like, it tastes like, it tastes like, like, the taste is there, but it's like something's missing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, isn't that how all Powerade tastes, though? Not the, not the lemon lime one, not the warm lemon lime oh one. Oh, my God. Because for sure, this one, the blue one, had, like, the same, like, feel to it. Where it's like, it's like you feel a taste, mm-hmm. but it dissipates. It's like the dietness st- stays there. I don't drink that much diet drinks, because I, like... I'm a healthy boy. I'm not like a freaking fat person. Diet drinks are for healthy people too. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm still okay. not fat. Well, luckily that brings us to another thing. Diet. Diets are pretty interesting. So diet drinks <clears throat> take away the sugar, like natural sugar. But for some reason they put more unhealthy sugar. Like artificial type of shit. Like that cancer inducing type of thing. I like that kind of shit. Yeah, I don't. Dude. Yeah, dude, it's good. You, you like diet stuff? No. No, it isn't. The- diet Coke puts artificial sugars. Really? Regular Coca Cola doesn't. I thought it was the opposite. No, because isn't the point of diet? Oh no, the point of diet is isn't the point of diet to include less sugar? Yeah, but that's why it's artificial. It's like a syrup. It's not actual sugar, so it takes away that sugar factor. But also, does have sh- syrup. Look, I work at Cinemark, guys. This is what we do. At Cinemark, 
We, What's Cinemark? Cinemark, Cinemark is a, fuck you. No, exactly. I, no, you no, work no. at a movie theater. Exactly. I work at a movie theater. Exactly. The Not only thing Cinemark. we know that exists is the Coca-Cola company. Yeah. Co- the only thing that exists here in Dario, because it's small as fuck, is Coca-Cola company and the movies. That's it. Exactly. And at the movies. And Dr. Pepper. I, and Dr. Pepper. And where Shout I work Dr. Out. Pepper. And, dark, and root beer. Fuck root beer. Root beer's awesome. Right here. No, shut up. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Hey, let me talk about okay, my, fine. my movie theater. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> so in my movie theater, right, when we put in the sodas, let's say whenever one runs out, right, I have to go over in the back, carry this large, like, cardboard cotton, put it in where the other one was, take out the other one, because inside that carton thing is this big bag, right? When you fucking touch the bag, it feels like fucking booby. Anyways, when you fucking... <laughs> God damn it, you said that as I died. God damn it. Anyways, dude. when you... The inside there is like syrup. It's, it's not soda. It's like syrup. Because w- whenever it leaks out, it's like really sticky. Right? So it's syrup. Why are you laughing? Once, once I said sticky stuff. Nothing. Okay, anyways. But yeah, it's like... it's syrup. Wait, why did we get into this? Because we were starting to talk about Diet Coke. And, oh yeah, anyways. All of them are syrups. I guess just one syrup is more potent than the other. Exactly. <laughs> we definitely we, we've definitely strayed away from why how this started but you know what that's fine because that's the point of it you know we're trying to like be the people you listen to while you're, like you're driving you're having a bad day we're supposed to make you laugh and that's just the point of it yeah we want to do this because we like to entertain people mm-hmm. we like talking i like talking to too and we think some of our ideas are going to be pretty great whenever we talk it out the reason why we're not doing it as of right now is because, you know, it's the first episode. We want everyone who ever watches to get comfortable with us and understand, like, our dynamic, right? Mm-hmm. Gael is the goofy one. <laughs> He's the goofy goober of the two. Oh, fuck yeah. He's Drake, you know. Drake! He slaps you... his knee at every joke. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I see all shots He says shit. tootily do <laughs> whenever he leaves. Well, that's it, folks. That's why I say every time. Yeah, after yeah. this shit, after this concludes, when the audio mutes all that stuff, after it ends, I'd be like, ah, wait, wait what was I going to say? Aw, oh, shucks. Aw, oh, shucks. There you go. That's a great <laughs> show, guys. Exactly. And, you know, I'm more, it, our dynamic's interesting, right? Because sometimes I'm the serious, sometimes <clears throat> Gal's the serious one. It really changes. And that's what y'all guys are going to see as we progress. Yes. And also, I'm not bad at zombies, guys. I, I just want to put that Let's out there. Let's play Universe 2, then. I don't want to play Xenoverse 2. I suck at Xenoverse 2. Guys, Xenoverse 2 is the best Dragon Ball game ever. Yes. By the way, I don't know if my other controller has battery, so L. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, where are you going to play? Is it Transit? No, this is Town. It's part of the Transit, but it's whatever. Okay, but yeah. So we're starting this podcast for many things. One, to rate the Power Raids, all different flavors that they have. I can't believe a monkey started this. Yeah, and a monkey meme did start this, but you know what? It's fine. Because everything starts from one thing to another. And... All right, so as I said, we're gonna rate the power rates. We're gonna converse right oh, about topics. <clears throat> one thing, whenever um we actually have a camera and use video, we're gonna like be able, or like wherever we can project like on a monitor, or, like on our screen, we're gonna use like the actual like like rating. Do you know how like I don't know if y'all like seen YouTube videos, but each YouTube video that like each YouTube video that's a YouTuber like rating a certain product or like thing. Has like, has like a certain like list that each one of them uses. It's like, a tier list. It's a tier list. Yeah, it's yeah. like the one with like it's like all black and on the side it has like A or S to like F, and like it's which one is color coordinated. We're gonna use that one. Mm-hmm. That's the one I imagined in my head. Yeah, uh, that's the one we're gonna use. And for our Spotify users, because we're also planning to hopefully be on Spotify, we will be just saying it out loud. You know it, so y'all guys can also be included. Yeah. We haven't figured it out yet, but um, we're gonna get it out there. Exactly. Plus, our ratings will more than likely be on our Instagram and Twitter, which once again. At Power Aid Podcast. Yes. And Power Aid. Not not Aid as in like help, but Aid as in like AIDS. Because it's funny, I think. Aid as in being helpful. Mm-hmm. Raid is different. Aid is different. Wait, what does Raid mean? Nothing really, but you know, it's Power and then Aid. Uh, A-D-E. I really... Yo! I barely realized that. Okay, guys. If you all have Power Aid, look at your thing, right? You know how it says Power Aid on the bottle? It's, it's divided into like two sections. It's power at the top and eight at the bottom. Aid to it's highlights it puts the eight at the bottom by itself to highlight that it's like gonna help you. Mm-hmm. I barely realize that right now. Well, like power aid. That's cool. Okay. That's like some good design right there. Shout it out is. to fucking power aid. Shout out to power aid. And then they also try to like push it forward because they have their ions right. Oh. And since they had advanced electrolyte system, helps replenish four electrolytes lost in sweat. What that means is that if you ever have a tummy ache, you can drink this and it'll help you. Fine enough, yeah. Uh, especially the lemon lime flavor, like, cause like the le- like lemon limes have some healing power, or that's what I believe at least. Oh yeah, like whenever you like you suck on limones. Yeah. 
that also reminds us later in videos you'll probably watch us be doing things like conversing maybe even play more games and streaming it, it really counts on how it goes if we feel like we're doing face cam that day doing games or we could do both or we could do both wait what, that'd be like a it would, be, it would be a podcast at that point, right? How is it not a podcast? Because no, we're still be talking. True, but like, <clears throat> whenever someone plays games and like, talk, talk something else. It's commentary. True. See, but we're not commentating on the game. Yeah, I know. The thing is, okay, we're only doing this right now because, you know, we don't got a camera at the moment. Mm -hmm. We're going to figure that out. But you know what? It's fine because we are also the type of people to expand our content across, you know, multiple platforms and Water. trying to do things. Very true. Very true. <laughs> what is this? Lysol. Lysol. I don't know what Lysol is. What do you mean you don't know what Lysol is? Isn't it for like... Oh, true. I forgot about that. It's not Lysol. It's, um, Gysol. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God damn it. I can't, couldn't that whisper be heard in like the... You know what? It doesn't matter. It's cool. It's funny. It's funny. You know, it just shows how real we are. I know how this... Raw, this is exactly super raw, raw like raw dog style. Raw dog, like as raw as like you know when you get salmon and you don't cook it, like that raw. When it's like the pink, it the pinkest it could be. Is it that just called sushi? No. Oh yeah, it is sushi. Actually, can salmon be sushi? It is. No, it can be included in sushi. Oh, okay, well, there's different types of sushi. I don't like seafood, so I really wouldn't know. I think seafood's mid. What? Yeah. What oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh damn, we're hitting. We've hit the 16 mark already. Yeah. That fast, dude. We, yeah. What the fuck? It felt like four minutes. I know. Okay. Wait. So also, I am three fourths done with my cold power rate. The hell? I'm like, not even halfway. I'm like a quarter done. You're supposed to be drinking it. Wait, I'm supposed to finish it all? Yes. Are you supposed to finish it all before I drink the other one? Yeah. Can I just have both? No. Why? Because the other one still needs to warm down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna be drinking two separate Powerades, guys. Yeah. That's okay. And while Gal drinks his Powerade. Oh, dude. Mm. How about we have the viewers make their own Powerade for us? I wanna call them viewers more like listeners. Oh, true, listeners, because I forgot this podcast. Mm. So, you listeners, maybe in the future, if we run out of flavors, which you will, y'all should like make your own, like, a parade for us your own concoction yeah but like nothing that like or no disgusting shit because we obviously won't try it out or maybe guy i will buy one no i'll like sniff it out beforehand i have a powerful nose so if you put some piss or like shit in there i like this you can't get past you can't get it past me you know what they're not gonna come bring us a parade we're gonna see their comment and drink it we're like gonna the make ingredient? it yeah they could just send it to us <gasps> p.o box no we don't we're not gonna have a p.o box why that's dumb no it isn't we don't have our own place. Well, we never when we have our own place. Okay, fine. But all right. But either way, yeah. After like episode ten or something, y'all yeah. guys can tell us. Oh yeah, try this concoction or this type of pirate. Drink it like this and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Many different ways, you know, to keep, keep the ball going. <coughs> it's gonna be like mm -hmm. the the what the fuck is that called from regular show? The Mississippi Queen. The Mississippi. The Mississippi. The Mississippi Queen of Parades. <laughs> exactly. No. Yes. Exactly. All of us are gonna like, how this? All of us will send us your concoction, your recipe. We're gonna make them all, and out of all of them, we'll decide which. <gasps> An idea. So you know how we're trying out the regular Powerades, right? Mm-hmm. After we're done trying all the flavors, we create like a new, not a new series, but a new section where mm -hmm. it's first of the original ones, and then the, the concoction ones. Out of, out, and then out of the concoction ones, we're gonna tr we're gonna see which is the best one out of all of them. How just like how we're gonna decide which is the best one out of all the regular ones. Mm -hmm. We do that. Nah, I'm down with that. That's pretty good. But again, then again, guys, no piss or shit. Exactly. I like how we just say piss and shit, but like there's really more disgusting things out there. Well, that's like the general thing, you True. know. Because people, can we, I don't think we could say other stuff other than that. We still gotta be in certain guidelines. True. But remember, YouTube would always monitor stuff, so that's why I, I'm trying not to swear as much. The people who know me right from hometown, they know sometimes I like to swear like a sailor. Yeah. And right now I'm just trying to keep it moderate and maybe until once we get bigger. That's our thing. Oh, also, getting um, exposure. If you always can do us a favor and you enjoy the podcast, please tell your friends. Show show your friends, right? Mm -hmm. You know, post it on your Instagrams and stuff like that. 
and also if you didn't like something or you know didn't understand something or think something about us like yeah or something, something that can group. help. Yeah. A critique. Any, yeah, that's what I was saying. Any criticism helps. Exactly. Because <clears throat> we want to get better and make sure y'all guys are enjoying it. Mm-hmm. And if y'all guys call me bad at zombies, I'm going to block you. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But still. Um, yeah. All right. I am about to be finished with your part, my part. How about you? And then I'm like halfway done. Yeah, halfway done. Halfway done. done. Exactly. All right. And then once we finish, I feel like another, in a bit, like soon. Mm-hmm. We could give us your, or we can give y'all our rating of our cold power rating, which I think I know what I have. Sodium, potassium, calcium. What's magnesium? No I limit. Know, I know, duh, but like, uh, what does that like go it's into? It's an element, dude. But like, what does that it's go? It's an in? element. What does that go into the power rating? Do you not know your periodic table? Oh my god, the regular chemistry. Two. Chemistry was my worst subject. Funny enough, I passed chemistry. I passed chemistry, but like, it was my worst subject. Or my, my worst science subject. Mm-hmm. I think mean, I think my worst subject is. I think I think it's chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah <sighs> it is pretty interesting it is 20 minutes how long are we going to make this I, I think like 30 no 35 40 I like how y'all guys are hearing us plan it while we go you yeah. can tell like it's organized like we have like our plans and stuff but like you know how some things like ch- change up in the spot like you know things can never go into plan because you know there's just some variables you can't account for <coughs> and you know what that's actually going to bring me to my own tangent that's to keep the huh Oh, I said salami, but I meant tsunami. All right. So that brings me to another tangent. Um, planning. Oh, my God. So <laughs> planning, You need. some people need to understand that sometimes things just doesn't go as planned. And sometimes it's okay to deviate from the original plan. Oh, I know what you're talking. Okay. You know what? I will. I'm. You just look. I'm the type of person who I like a plan too. But I also understand that sometimes <laughs> things don't go as planned. And I like sometimes doing things out of nowhere on the fly right yeah it's more natural that way because when you plan things out and it doesn't go as planned and everyone's fucking bummed out exactly and, and sometimes you know, planning things and going through like the very meticulous like the it's the meticulousness the minute that, things the minute things that ruins the fun out of it exactly because look we want to enjoy our time and, and trust me if the thing is big sure we can plan it but sometimes <clears throat> i don't know it's just i don't i don't get why people get so mad whenever things don't go as planned or sometimes something happens, like a roadblock. Yeah. Or are we, are we talking in sense of like, um, like just in general, general? planning? Yeah. But it, like that, like, it's also understandable why they like get angry because I mean they planned it for like such a long while. Mm-hmm. But like if you want to hang out with your friends like the next day or the same day, you can't get mad over people not wanting to go or you know, just if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Yeah, not that big of a deal. Because, you know, things happen, we're all humans, we're all busy. All lives and stuff. Exactly. Should my last prick be quick? No, I'll just get stamina up. Oh, I've never gotten that gun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But, yeah. Okay, just, let, me, let me sip this real quick. Yeah. I don't know why I got into that tangent, but still, it makes sense. And you know what? Sure, if you want to plan things like a week ahead, then yeah, I get that. But that also brings me to another thing. You ever hate it whenever you're in a group and you're trying to plan something like a week ahead and no one answers you? Oh my god. Mm. That happens way too much with me. And I think that's why I stopped planning with my friend group or why I stopped being the planner. Because I don't like when people don't respond to me like this. I like my responses quick so I can get everything into order. No, plus, if it's a, okay, if it's in a group chat where it's like a large amount of people and you send, <coughs> send a plan out or ask what you're going to do, it's going to get mudded and like basically oversaturated by other, other things. Mm-hmm. Like memes. Everyone just sends fucking memes in the group chat. And look, memes are funny, right? We like laughing. But yeah. whenever we're trying to plan something and you send a meme I'm like, midway through, I'm going to be trash. Yeah, because it just disrupts the flow. Like, exactly. Like, oh, no, no, no. You know what's is funny? I'm oh, not funny, but like, bruh. It is kind of like, um, not like in the context of, of like what we're talking about, but like, let's say we're having a serious to- like, conversation in the group chat. And everyone's talking out of nowhere that one person who's not in the, like, in the conversation sends a fucking meme. Like, bruh. That happens way too much. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's funny, so... It is funny, but, like... <laughs> it's, it's just not the right time. Right, because there's a time and place for everything. Yeah. You know what's another thing that kind of, like, grinds my gears? What? Whenever I get left on road, never I'm asking an important question. Oh, my God. I don't like that. Huh? No, I don't like that either. 
Like, why? You see me asking you something and you just leave me on read. And that goes back to the planning thing. When I want to plant, whenever I used to plan things for a friend group, I would be left on read. Oh my god, it, I really get really pissed off. Like, dude, I'm trying to make us all hang out, and the only and you, what you do is you leave me on red. Like, come on, grow the fuck up. That's why calling exists, but no one calls anymore. Exactly, because everyone is like, why does no one call actually? Like, it's better, honestly. We we should do that more, but like, I feel like it's people because people are too used to just texting because it's easier, and people have become more like I guess socially anxious because you know we have social media. And it's just easier to do things through text. Because exactly. calling actually involves, like, in real life interaction. Texting, you can just see a text and not respond for a good while. You can you can take all the time in the world to respond. But when it comes to calling, it's like, boom, 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 there. But calling actually would help. Yeah, like, oh, that's <laughs> about to drop my control like an idiot. Mm. Like, and yeah, I it's understandable, but I don't know. I, I like calling, but at the same time, there's, like, just times where I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to, I don't want to call. But if it's plan, if it's in a planning phase, yeah, I'll definitely call right because you know that's how you make plans. And you know what? I don't like calling now, but you know who damn well you are. Where are you new damn shoes? Stop being jealous. Oh my god, dude! You bought those shoes, legit, a month and a half, two months at this point. You know who I'm talking about, dude? <clears throat> you bought your shoes. I'm not wearing them a single time at school. It's our last year as high schoolers. You didn't wear your new drip? Come on. Dude, like, they're good ass shoes too. Like, they go well with your fit. Like, it makes your fit better, honestly. It compliments you. But no. Eh, I will wait to a special occasion. No. Wear those shits <laughs> now. Boy, I was with you when I bought those. Not, yeah. not a single time did you wear them. Also, fix your fit, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. now we're just fucking dissing him. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No more of that. No more no like, that. Honestly, it's just a little tangible. No, 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 no. How about this? How about you... <laughs> You fail, you, you fail your last, no, how about this? You go back to school, fail your senior year, that way you can go to summer school, and you can flex your new shoes during summer school. <laughs> or we just hang out, and you wear them today. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, because we hang out today. Okay. Anyways. I think we're almost close to finishing our power raid, and you'll be like, wow, y'all guys, is, y'all guys are so funny. I love y'all. <laughs> I hope that's what y'all are saying. <laughs> Actually, no, we got to be confident. Of course y'all love us. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh man! All right, so let me just finish. You know, I forgot the pause button exists. I'm about to finish my final drink of Powerade. You should too. I'm gonna so piss can a lot after this. Oh yeah, I definitely feel a piss. All right, cheers. Final chug. Okay. Oh, okay. Someone can't take it. Also. <laughs> uh, oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> someone can't take it all. Shut the fuck up! I had like half. I have twice what you had. Come on, dude, finish it all. This power white it wasn't cheap. That's why we need Coca Cola to sponsor us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, Coca Cola, if you want to send me that Coca Cola um, scholarship, of, you know. Coca Cola has a scholarship? They have a scholarship. What is it? I don't know, but I heard about it, so we'll check it out. <coughs> and oh, we're I done. think I know. As a scholarship, if you drink like 20 Coca Colas, in like in like the span of like two seconds, they'll send you like the original Coca Cola that had like cocaine laced in it. Is that the scholarship? Yeah, more than likely. Oh fuck, I want that. All right, our power rates are done. Heck yeah. All right, now it's time for the rating. <laughs> yes. Um, would I rate this? Eight out of ten. I would rate it a seven out of ten. Like if you're just drinking it, but after like playing sports, I would definitely rate it an eight out of ten. Maybe after sports, this would be the ten out of ten. I, I don't think so. I think they're better flavors. I think... Well, actually, yeah. Because usually I just try the, the red and blue one. Exactly. So, for me... Okay. I'm not going to put it on the tier list just yet. But on the cold tier list, this would be... This would be the A. You know, it's the standard. The standard fruit punch. Everyone loves fruit punch. True. And if you don't love fruit punch, you're more than likely you were the weird kid. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. No. Or, like... No. If you prefer... Okay. How about this? If you prefer... This goes into fruit punch and, like, just fruit punch in general, but... Um, what's it called? High C. If you prefer fruit punch, I mean, if you prefer, if you prefer the orange high C over the fruit punch one, something's, something's wrong with something's you. Something's wrong with you. Yeah, exactly. You like grew up, you grew up loving like, what's a bad thing to love as a kid? Um, 
What's it? You grew up eating broccoli, and you're like, oh my god, this is so fun. And when you invite your friends over, you would give them broccoli instead of pizza. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the type of kid you were. Your parents would give out carrots during Halloween. Ah, uh, dude, <laughs> no. Fuck no. Or maybe your parents were cool, and you just didn't like yourself, and you ate broccoli as a like, fun time True. snack. With, with cheese, though. Okay, well, cheese is different, but regular broccoli. You oh. just ate, like, broccoli without even being salted. Like, you open the pack and you just eat the, the broccoli. broccoli. You wouldn't even boil it. What the fuck? So straight out the can? Yes, yeah, sir. You're, you're, you were, if you didn't, okay, so final consensus is, if you did not like fruit punch, high C, as a kid, then you were a broccoli out the can kid. Look, I would understand this, but if you liked orange high C or fruit punch, you're more than likely a Digimon fan and you didn't like Pokemon, and that's why you're weird. Or Beyblade. No, no, actually, no. What are, we, what are you getting to? What the fuck? Let's, let's drink out of the people. Alright, I'm gonna go get the warm part. I'll be okay. back. Okay. Guy was gonna <coughs> dance for y'all. Yeah. Dancing? I don't know dance. <laughs> Goddamn. Mr. 30 minute mark. Oh my god. Alright, I got the warm power rates. Oh, so warm, dude. What the heck is this? I know, it's just kind of whack, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck? <laughs> Why does it have a dent in it? <laughs> I don't know. This is, is this what the sun does to the fucking exactly. power? Dents the shit out of it? Alright, well, whatever. It's time for our warm power raid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Gal's just looking at me weird. I don't like it. Oh, uh, no. My fucking face is wet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's time for the warm parade. And you know what that means? Time for a heated discussion. Yes. Now, this one's going to be pretty interesting. Now, let's crack open our warm parade. Mm, so warm. Hey, okay, shut up. <laughs> okay. okay. Ugh, actually, I do taste it. I taste the plastic melted in. It tastes like, you know. It like, does taste different. I'm not gonna lie you, to you. You know, like, you know, like when you get in the in the car, but the seats are warm, and then there's no air conditioning. Well, actually, what am I saying? No, it's like it's like rubber tires. There we go. Okay, I have a better way to describe. You know, whenever <coughs> you you go to Mexico and you want a limonada um natural. It said they give you uh, limonada um, mineral, right, with a fake syrup, and you taste that syrup. That's what it is. I don't is. think I've ever had mineral. I mean, I have, but I always choose natural. Yeah. yeah, that's what that tastes like. And speaking of warm, this warm version of fruit punch, you know what really starts to boil my blood? The disappointment of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse Madness. Seeing that movie in theaters was a waste of money, and it should have been released free on Disney+. Plus. That movie sucked ass. I, I think it was just mid, honestly. Mid, I mean, okay, let me explain why. It was a good movie, but I expected, like, way more blood and gore, because, legit, right? I was working at the movies, right? And right after he got out watching the movie with a, with a friend, he came up to me and was like, dude, there was so much blood, so much gory shit, like, what the fuck? It was, like, nearing rated R, basically. And he, and he even went on to say how fucking, like, I don't know what the fuck he was on. Legit don't know what the fuck he's on. He was probably high or something. This motherfucker's always high. Well, he's not, he's not always high. But he looks like he's high. He has droopy ass eyes. Anyways. Do I need a break? Hold up. Oh. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. They don't get it. The yeah. viewers don't get it. But, like, it, it's fine. He's it's gonna fine. get it. He's gonna yeah. get it. Anyways. He said, he, was like, he said how, like, Wanda, Wanda and Doctor Strange are basically, basically having sex. And that shit got me hyped. And, I, and then... The, after I finally watched it, I was like, what the fuck? Where's the fucking sex? Where's the sex? I expected some fucking Wanda titties and like some strange dick right there. But no, no titties, no strange dick. I'm like, what the fuck? And the gore, it was gore, but it was like minimal. Because, I mean, of course, it's Marvel. So, okay. So basically, like, it's Marvel. So you have to keep it to like a good portion of just gore. Um, <clears throat> but. Honestly, it was an alright movie. The CGI for the third eye, though, the third eye. Oh, y'all are getting spoiled. It, I'm sorry. Actually, we should have like said spoiler warning. Actually, y'all should have known because we just mentioned that we we're gonna talk about multiverse madness at the beginning of this. So, anyways, the third eye that Doctor Strange had in the movie, the CGI for that was butt cheeks. Like, dude, no, no. Like, it looked fake. Like, it, you can see like the shading in the eye, and like it looked off. It looked off. I like the idea of the third eye. Don't get me wrong. He looks like he looks like Tien. 
Tien is a badass character from Dragon Ball, if y'all don't know. But, like, it did not look good. Like, at all. And I think I, like, still prefer um, the first Doctor Strange for sure. And I think the hype was just too much for this movie. It was, like, too, like way too much hype. Not only because of, like, not only because I, no sex. No sex in the movie. Like, come on. We expected sex. No sex. And no blood and gore. I mean, there's blood and gore, but, like, minimal. But I, I'm, like, a kind of, like, I like blood and gore in anything, really. Like, in anime especially, that shit goes hard. But for what it had, it was good. Like, there was blood. Oh, they even had, like, a zombie. They had a freaking, like, a zombie strange, which is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I thought, I was like, uh, I don't know about that. But the way he used, like, his freaking wings, his freaking, like, his corpse wings, the black the black ones, he, like, went up the freaking, whatever, the thing, the mountain, the, whatever, the, um, the, the witchery shit. That was pretty cool. Yeah, but honestly, that was in the right, right movie. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Marco? Anything else to add? On uh, the Multiverse of Madness, well, to be honest with you, that movie was... No. Alright, so I'm not going to get into the spoilers of it too much unless, I don't know, if God did. I basically, I talked about his third eye and how ass the CGI was for that. I was, why doesn't no one else talk about the CGI on the third eye? Yeah, the CGI was kind of ass. He looked like a fake-ass TN. Yeah, oh yeah, I mentioned that too. <laughs> fake-ass TN. <clears throat> I want to go do something real quick. Now that... <laughs> Well, uh, this just tastes way better. It tastes way better? Alright. Mm. But I still prefer it cold, though. Alright, so back to... Multiverse of Madness. Um, there's this one fight against Wanda and these other people. I'm not gonna say who, because that's a spoiler, but... Man, it motherfucking sucked. Like, why did those two people die if they're super strong? And then, like... You know, all. I'm gonna say this one character, Captain British. Like, real Captain. Who British. thought Captain British was a good idea? Captain British sucks. Bye. It's Captain Carter, right? Yeah, Captain Carter. You know me. I'm more of a Steve Rogers type guy. I can do this all day. The funny Marvel moment. Actually, let's speak range of attack. Marvel, stop being funny, man. You're supposed to be serious. Look how you did my boy Hulk. He's a joke. <coughs> like, why are you making him give tacos to Ant Man? That happened. You think when? that's funny in infant in. Endgame. Oh, I don't remember that. Like, bruh. Who's gonna laugh at that? Hulk is supposed to be scary. He's supposed to be a demon. He's, like, supposed to be Broly. A demon over the edge. But no. You need to make him funny. See what happens. Baby ass bullshit. What? <laughs> Wait, bullshit. You're gonna do a collab with Minecraft next now? Uh, JK, I like Minecraft, but still. That's a baby game. That's a baby game. Like Dark Souls. Wait, okay. No. Okay. okay, we're gonna have a whole episode about this soon. Here we are. We will. About me roasting the shit out no, of Dark Souls. No, about me... Basically hyping no, having me basically saying how amazing Dark Souls and the whole Soul series sees is awesome, and it's not shitty. Okay, but that's for that's for later. We we're talking about freaking the disappointment of Doctor Strange. I feel like there's a no, but one thing. Okay, you know, no, let's not just talk about Doctor Strange. It's about Marvel in general. Marvel's starting to get horrible. I mean, because it, it already went past like it's like cool like. It already did Infinity War and Endgame. Like that's like the like the climax. Where else is it supposed to, like, supposed to go after this? Exactly. Like I know there's stage four and stuff, but like, who gives a shit? What happens in stage? Like explain to like the listeners, because even I don't know what happens in like stage four. Okay, I'm not that sure because I didn't watch the Eternals. I didn't watch um. I'm sorry for this mispronunciation. I'd never watched the movie, but Shang Chi or Shang. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shang Chi, right? Mm-hmm. Shang Chi is what I heard. It's Shang Chi. Okay. Well, it's something like that, you know. Um, I didn't watch the movie. I really didn't pay attention to it. But I heard it's a good movie, but to be honest, I'm not going to watch it. I didn't watch The Eternals. And I'm only watching these movies because, you know, it's it's the Infinity War crew. <coughs> uh, you know, it's, a, it's the actual important people to me. Well, what I'm really is, like, is Wanda actually dead? I think she did die. Because, like, I feel like that was, I mean, the, I don't know, I don't know. I, the death was cool because, like, she like basically saw like how like what she was doing was wrong and like basically like like she like needed to like destroy, cause she had destroyed the freaking like was it Mo- not a monument but like a whole like like some temple for her. She, she couldn't she have destroyed the whole temple without killing herself? Is yeah. the thing, like is it th- she could have collapsed it from the outside? But uh, she also had like some type of schizo type of thing that entrapped the people by herself, like even without her thinking about it. Kind of what? She had like a schizo episode, like in um what you might call it. Wandavision. Wandavision, yeah. 
Oh, and, you... like, I'm not saying it offensively because it's true because she thought she had a family. She thought Vision was still alive and stuff. But, no, it was just, like, her own mind basically we, fucking her up. That's what WandaVision, like, is about? That's it's what just, I heard. It's just her fucking imagining? Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's been a while since I watched it. I only watched, like, the first three episodes. After that, that was pretty mid. No, the Marvel uh, the Marvel shows are mid. I heard Moon Knight's good. I haven't watched Moon Knight. But I heard from everyone that's good, so I'm actually thinking about watching yeah. it. What's it called? And then back to Multiverse of Madness. Um, I, I, a good point. Not a good, well, it's just like a small thing, but I actually kind of like... Okay. What was that? I like uh, the way... Um, fucking... Even though... Because, okay. I haven't seen the, like... Fantastic Four, like, cause you know how he had like those like different members. There's that guy with the four, like the fork in his head. That guy, the black, the black dude. Not, he's not black, but like, he has the black suit. The guy with the fork in his for, like in his head. Th- the way he died was like, what the fuck? Cause she kind of like outsmarted the dude. Cause the way she did it, she basically made it um so that he wouldn't have a mouth. Cause his power of the black, the black suit to do with the fork in his head. He basically all he needs to do is speak or like talk, and he like destroys you with like with his words, like with like the vibrational vibrations of his voice. Oh, you're talking about Black Thunder. Yeah, Black Thunder. I like that name Thunder. And the way he was killed was basically she made him shut his mouth, like he had no mouth, and he tried to speak, and when he spoke, the the brain waves and vibrations like vibrated in his head and fucking exploded his brain. I just thought looked cool. Yeah, that was alright, yeah. but I don't think he should have been killed that easily. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought the movie was way too <clears throat> mid for itself. Mm. I thought it was enjoyable, but I expected it a bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope they really don't ruin Thor: Love and Thunder and Guardians of the Galaxy three. I feel like um, Thor: Love and Thunder is gonna be like Thor: Ragnarok, but times twenty. Hopefully, that's what we're all hoping because freaking Ragnarok was a godsend. Yeah. No, but like you see how like you don't like um how like. What's it called? How, like, it's becoming too funsies and funny. Wasn't, like, Thor Ragnarok, like, like that? In a sense, but... Oh, you it think still it had more... cool badass hope. Oh, uh, like, you think it was more, like, um, balanced. Yeah. Know? Like, with the funniness and, like, the actual fights and, like, the seriousness of the movie. Exactly. I haven't seen, I haven't seen the movie in a while, so... I don't really remember. But I remember enjoying that movie. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm being a contradiction, but... Another, um company that's doing pretty good movie wise is DC really something in the way moment oh my god is it Sony now or it's in Sony Sony did Batman didn't they no it was Warner Brothers was it not I think wait let me search oh anyway, not how my phone okay well I'm pretty sure it's Warner Brothers if not Sony but still the Batman was pretty decent not gonna lie <coughs> it's good but like but there's just one there's th- problem to what too many cinematics for this damn movie. It did not deserve three hours. Mm, okay, how, what could have been cut out? What do you think? Could, what, like, would have been Zoe cut? Kravitz. No. Yeah. Zoe Kravitz is hot. She, she sucks. No, she's not. Mid suck. mid tier. No. Mid tier. No, she's not mid tier. No. Mid. No. No. Oh, I lost. But that's okay, cause to be honest with you, we're getting close to ending this episode. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I think that's all the time we have for right now, guys. It's kind of an abrupt end, but still, we do have to keep a time. Exactly. What's so the 45 minutes of time? Uh, it may be longer than that for the next episodes, but I do have something coming up yeah. soon. Be expecting 45 to like an, an hour. hour. Maybe an hour 15 if we really like the topics. Because mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, our next topic is going to be fun. Actually. Exactly. Like, I'm really excited for the next topics, guys. We kind of went off tracks, but that's a good thing, right? Because we're, we're enjoying ourselves and we're trying to talk to y'all. And, like, give out our thoughts, because that's what the podcast is. It'll probably be a bit more organized, and we go, we won't go off track that much. But it still will have the fun tone of this. I think this was a good first episode. Yes, I agree. I mean, I had a good time. And if it wasn't, well, you know what that means. There's always room for improvement and time to get better. Yeah, I'll get the fuck away. Okay, now. <laughs> exactly. And guess what? We're going to keep doing this, because, you know what? It is fun, and we are enjoying it. Yes. Okay, well. Okay. Give my, us. Yes. Okay, well. <clears throat> that's all guys well that, okay and you know what that does bring us to the end of the episode and to be honest I prefer my fruit punch Powerade cold over warm and I honestly I think what I would rate it it's an A tier it is the standard Powerade you would get I'd rate my actually I prefer cold cause warm just tastes like a flat a flat I don't know a flat tire let's just say flat, flat tire 
I don't like the fucking warmness. I prefer it war I prefer warm. I prefer cold. And I'd rate this 8 out of 10. And I also agree that it would go at the A tier. So it will be A tier. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please throw us a follow on our Twitter and Instagram at Pirate Podcast. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pirate Podcast. And once we get out the Spotify, we will post it. Yee. <laughs> Yee. Yee. Okay. <coughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it.